this video is about the application of Kramer's rule in network analysis so I will be using Kramer's rule to solve a loop analysis problem and this is applied to the DC circuits so and this circuit has been or this problem has been formulated by P Academy itself so I have just formulated this and the circuit looks like something like this There's a hundred volt here. The resistance is ten R one and R three and R four. And there's a diversion here or another network here, which is a branch here, which is R two is twenty ohm. This is ten ohm, twenty ohm and 10 ohm and this is a hundred volt so while applying the Kramer's rule I will apply by applying to show how it is possible to apply the Kramer's rule in network I'll apply the Kramer's rule to solve a loop analysis problem so before you take loop analysis you'll have to take the loop currents so there is three possible loops in the circuit and each of the loop I'm assigning I1, I2 and I3 currents and the first step is to get the network equations or linear equations for the circuit so while getting the linear equation if I will so to get that I will have to apply the KVL to all loops once so when I'm applying to the loop one whatever equations which I get is So just to simplify the calculation what I will do is I will reduce all the resistance to by a factor of 10 so these are 1 ohm and respectively so this is 1 ohm this is 2 ohm this is again 1 ohm and this is 2 ohm so while going through the first loop I will what equation what I will get is minus 100 plus I1 plus 2 into I1 minus I2 is equal to 0 and for the second loop I will get 2 into I2 minus I1 plus I2 plus 2 into I2 minus I3 is equal to 0 and third which I will get is 2 into I2 or I3 minus I2 plus I3 minus 100 is equal to 0 so these are the three sets of equations which I get for three loops so simplifying the equation it can be written in terms of the variables and the constants such that 2 i1 minus i2 is equal to 100 
or writing it 2 i1 minus i2 plus 0 i3 is equal to 100 and minus 2 i1 plus 5 i2 minus 2 i3 is equal to 0 and 0 i1 minus 2 i2 plus 3 i3 is equal to 100 so this is what is my sets of equation so this is writing it in this form is a second step and next is you can write you can formulate the coefficient matrix so when you formulate the coefficient matrix you will take the coefficient of all this and it will be 2 minus 2 0 minus 2 which is here there is a minus 2 and 5 minus 2 and 0 minus 2 3 so I will need to find the delta for this and the, my coefficients I will write in a separate matrix which can be as written here so I, finding my delta based on this I can find the delta by using how to find the determinant of the matrix it will be 15 plus or minus 4 plus 2 into minus 6 so this is equal to 22 minus 12 which is equal to 10 so my delta is equal to 10 so that was so this is finding delta is the second step or the third step so what I have got now here is my delta is equal to 10 and my matrix from the equation looks something like this 2 minus 2 0 minus 2 5 minus 2 and 0 minus 2 3 and which is equal to 100 0 100 so this unknown variable for this was i1 this was i2 this column was i3 so when i will need to find for i1 i will need to replace this entire column by this constant vector matrix or this column matrix which is for the voltage so when i will do that i will i can find my delta one so to find my delta one uh, the matrix which looks like 100 0 100 and minus 2 5 minus 2 and 0 minus 2 3 so based on this my delta 1 is equal to 100 into 15 minus 4 this minus and minus plus of 2 of 200 so this is equal to 100 into 11 plus 200 or 400 which is equal to 1500 so my delta 1 is equal to 1500 and when you are using a Cramer's rule your I1 will be found out by delta divided by delta 1 or delta 1 divided by delta which is equal to 1500 divided by 10 so your i1 is equal to 150 
amperes in this case which is a large value but since to simplify it I have taken removed the resistance by a factor of 10 so you're getting a large value of current and a similar way if I will find the delta 2 it can be written as 2 minus 2 and 0 and the I2 column I will replace by the V and 0 minus 2 3 so this is for my delta 2 finding so which is equal to 2 into 200 minus 100 of minus 600 this is equal to 400 plus 600 which is equal to 1000 so my delta 2 again is equal to 1000 and my I2 is equal to delta 2 divided by delta which is equal to 1000 divided by 10 which is equal to 100 amperes and in a similar way if I will replace the third column by this and I'm not writing it but directly calculating the delta 3 then it will look like something 2 into 200 or 2 into 500 and plus 2 into 200 and plus 100 into minus of 4 this will be come equal to 1000 plus 400 minus 400 which is equal to 1000 so my i3 is equal to delta 3 divided by delta which is equal to 1000 divided by 10 which is equal to 100 ampere so the solution which I have found out for the finding the loop currents was I1 is equal to 150 ampere I2 is equal to 100 ampere and I3 is equal to 100 ampere so again if you if you don't want to solve the same same problem can be solved by using substitution if you don't want to apply Kramer's method to solve it